Threats of a looming war in the Arctic are expected to be addressed during this week's NATO Leaders Summit. There's a massive military build-up in the Arctic Circle, with the US, China and Russia all vowing for sway in the region. And a race for resources further increases the likelihood of armed conflict. The frigid north is on a war footing. Recent NATO war games held in the Norwegian snow, the largest in 40 years, made that clear as the West recognises an apparent rising Russian threat at the top of the world. Russia has remilitarized the Arctic for, for 10, 12 years heavily and NATO has done almost nothing and, and only recently they woke up and, and now they are signalling to the other side, we will be ready also. While Ukraine is the international community's present focus, the Arctic is likely to be the future frontier for great power competition. The US has increased Arctic patrols and this year allocated more than $175 million on new Arctic military projects. China has announced an Arctic strategy and built two icebreaker ships, while Russia is the most active, reopening Cold War era Arctic bases, extending runways to accommodate nuclear bombers and commissioning new icebreaker ships and submarines to strengthen its might in northern seas. They have nothing to fear about. Even the Norwegian defense minister, uh, they repeat that there is no immediate military uh, fears. There are fears a race for resources could lead to a boil over. Boring ice sheets are revealing new shipping lanes and an estimated trillion dollars worth of rare earth minerals. 30% of the world's untapped gas and 13% of its oil, for so long out of reach, may soon be accessible.